commission is based at Pretoria FAS. FAS Pretoria in South Africa is a regional office which covers 11 countries, including Angola, Botswana, Lesotho, Madagascar, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Swaziland, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. The office is a total of 11 staff members, three American offices, and uh, six uh, LES based in Pretoria, and one LES in Mozambique, and one in Angola. U.S. agricultural exports to Southern Africa, which was worth 510 U.S. dollar million in 2016, as the ESIs and voice of U.S. agriculture in the region. Our goal is to expand U.S. export and ag products from the United States. We realize have a limited present throughout Southern Africa. Research show that the Southern Africa re region represents a sizable market of 175 million people. And uh, given the region's proximity to South Africa and their membership in a common developing community encompassing a free trade area logistical links and membership ties, the region is easily serviced from South Africa as a gateway. So for the purpose of this conference, my presentation would focus on the four targeted countries, mainly South Africa, Angola, Mozambique, and Mauritius, which I will give the agriculture trade and trade relations in my summary. South Africa is an upper middle income emerging market economy with an estimated population of 56 million, 64.3% uh, 6, uh, of which is urban and a real gross domestic product GDP of US dollar 204 billion in 2016. It is one of the most advanced and diverse economies of the African continent, which includes the production and value added activities of all major grains except rice, oil seeds, deciduous and subtropical fruits, sugar, citrus wine, most vegetable, cattle dairy, pig, sheep, broilers, ostriches and eggs, and serve as the perfect entry point to doing business in Southern Africa, providing access to neighboring country markets as major retailers from South Africa expanding into other Southern Africa markets. South Africa is the 30th largest agricultural producer in the world and is not only a net exporter but also Africa's largest exporter of agricultural products. For fiscal year 2016, South Africa imported uh, 7.0 billion US dollar billion in agriculture and food products in that country, which was the same level as in fiscal year 2015. The major product imported were corn. US dollar 505 million, rice 424 million, wheat 367 million, chicken cuts and offal 268 million, palm oil 265 million, soybean meal 197 million. So the US exported 435 million of agricultural fish and forestry to South Africa up 39% from the previous fiscal year due to increase in bulk commodity exports which reached 
190 million. Major bulk commodity exported by the, South, by the US to South Africa included wheat, corn, and sorghum. And other major products imported by South Africa from the US included planting seed, poultry meat, and tree nuts, and distilled spirits. In addition, South Africa has an interest in expanding their robust food processing industry, a potential market for US food ingredients, and the US is seen as a reliable supplier of high quality ingredients. Just to mention uh, opportunities in South Africa, from the official sources and local press, the rise in the household income in South Africa economies has allowed the formation and strengthening of a substantial middle class, which research shows that the number of middle class is expected to boom in the next 16 years, particularly from Angola, Mozambique, and Zambia to mention. Running parallel to growing consumer demand is growth in the African retail sector and a boom in Western style shopping center and supermarkets across the continent. Most of the major supermarket retail chains in the region, such as ShopRite, Woolworths, Spa, and Pick and Pay, are headquartered in South Africa and has performed very well in regional markets and have a solid and growing footprint. Just to mention, example of some of the major South African retail groups operating in the region are in Angola, there are 41 shop right. In Botswana, there are 45 spa, 26 shop right, 10 pick and pay, nine Woolworths, and one food lovers market. Lesotho, 23 shop right, three pick and pay, two Woolworths, and one food lovers market. Madagascar, nine shop right, Mauritius, uh, and other. So, in a nutshell, POST has identified that U.S. export to Southern Africa could be grown through extensive ma market awareness and promotion of U.S. product. Hence, we, say, we are saying, as POST, save a date for an upcoming South Africa business trade mission, ATM to Johannesburg and Cape Town, August 12 to 17, 2018. Up to 50 buyers team participants from each Southern Africa countries that we cover will be invited to Johannesburg to take part in the mission and to meet with U.S. business delegation. And targeted U.S. market sector for the mission include food ingredients, food preparation, dry beans, fish products, almond, distilled spirit, meat, turkey cars, sauces, condiments, wheat, dairy product, edible corn, and soybean. The Southern Africa region holds a great deal of opportunity for U.S. agribusiness, and if no trade promotion activities are undertaken, the U.S. may lose market share to other trading uh, countries. So the ATM objective is to seek to promote U.S. agriculture and consumer oriented food exports to Southern Africa, raise awareness of opportunities in the Southern Africa market, educate U.S. exhibitors and business about the Southern Africa market, and educate Southern Africa buyers about U.S. agriculture products and retail practices to create opportunities for immediate and long-term exchange and process. I will conclude there. Thank you very much.